Hello everyone, it's great to be back to talk about our second quarter of 2015. Another very solid operating performance from all of our mines. We met our production targets. That puts us in uh, a great position to uh, continue to meet our guidance in terms of total production. Our cost performance was better than we had expected it to be. We're also benefiting from the weakness in our local currencies, which helps our unit cost to produce gold in U.S. dollars. So although we've seen volatility and we've seen lower U.S. dollar gold price, it's not really affecting our businesses given the location of the business and given the good cost performance. We've been able to reduce debt in the first half of the year. That sets us up nicely going forward. In this market, I think we're the only company out there that's really doubling our exploration budget, adding good value through the drill bit, and that's going to position us to build on our business at our main operating platforms. If we look at Laurent, going from roughly 200,000 ounces per year last year, as we mine the better grades in the lower mine, we expect to produce in the mid 300,000 ounce per year range in 2019. At Goldex, we produced about 100,000 ounces last year. As we start to develop the satellite zones in the mine, and as we look at a satellite deposit about 30 kilometers away from Goldex, we see the potential to increase output at Goldex by 50% on an annual basis to about 150,000 ounces. In Finland, we've increased production by about 25% over last year, and we're working on a potential new parallel zone to our main zone. If that can be brought into a mine plan, then we can hopefully do better than 200,000 ounces per year at Finland. In Mexico, we've got the Barcano project we're drilling now, an initial resource later this year. La India has expansion potential, so we see that business getting bigger. And the biggest platform we have in terms of potential to grow is in Nunavut. With our discovery at Amaruk and the increasing size of that resource, combined with the large reserve and resource at Melidine, we have a set of assets and a skill set that we can build a meaningful platform and a big part of our business for many years to come. We've been well served over many years by staying measured, keeping it at a manageable pace. That is much more important now given the volatility. Having said that, we still need to reinvest in our business, so you'll see continued focus and emphasis on exploration where we're generating good value, we're outlining bigger deposits, the cost of finding those ounces are relatively cheap, and we've also got our technical service group and our mine building teams focused on trying to translate that exploration success into new mines and added production. So we can manage that, we've done that many times before, and we can do that even in this challenging environment.